Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about quantum theory and in that we'll be discussing about the concept and explanation of principal quantum number. So let's start. Now first of all let us understand what is principal quantum number and how it is denoted. Principal quantum number is one of the four quantum numbers which are assigned to each and every electron to describe it completely. Basically, principal quantum number designates the principal or main energy shell or level in which an electron is present. Here, when I'm talking about energy levels associated with a particular electron, I am not talking about the particular orbit. In this quantum mechanical model given by the urban Schrodinger, energy level does does not correspond to a particular orbit but to an electron wave associated with an electron when it enters an atom. This is a very very important point worth noting. The principal quantum number is denoted by n. Now, who discovered principal quantum number? Principal quantum number was given by Niels Bohr in 1913. According to Bohr, each and every electron has its own unique energy level. Thus, every electron would have a unique value of n and this corresponds to the particle behavior of an electron. So Bohr called these unique energy levels as stationary states because as long as the electron is present in a particular orbit it will neither lose energy neither it will gain energy. Now what does principal quantum number describes? First, principal quantum number describes main energy level that is a shell in which an electron is present in an atom. Now, the moment electron enters an atom, it will first of all enter the principal main energy shell. That means the electron wave adopted by an electron when it enters the atom. And the principal quantum number also describes energy associated with a particular shell. Here energy is directly proportional to the principal quantum number. That means as the value of n increases the electron gets away from the nuclear thus the energy increases. So this means that the energy level closer to the nucleus will have the lower energy and as n increases then the electron have high energy and thus therefore less tightly bounded to the nucleus. Principal quantum number also explains the energy of an electron wave, that is Schrodinger wave equation. Now first of all, if we take into consideration the Bohr model, which is like a solar system, n corresponds to particular energy level or orbit in which an electron is revolving. But when we are talking about the Schrodinger atomic model, here energy level does not correspond to a particular orbit, as I've told you earlier. Energy level refers to a particular electron wave which gets associated with an electron when it enters the atom. So you can see here that there is a wave cloud here and the electrons are present. So every electron will have a particular electron wave associated with it and then it will enter the specific orbitals having different specific shapes. Thus, this electron wave has corresponding wave function which is characterized by the quantum number. There are three quantum numbers which is associated with this electron wave that is principal, what we're discussing now, as a mythical quantum number and the magnetic quantum number. So, if we take into consideration the hydrogen or the hydrogen-like species, that means the atoms which have lost electrons and they have uh, same one valence electrons like hydrogen. So, principal quantum number also determines the energy of hydrogen and hydrogen-like species. Here, E and represent the energy of the nth orbital, whether the first, second, third, fourth, negative, then E naught into z square. Z here represents atomic number. Here E naught is equal to 13.6 electron volt and 1 electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 joules. So using this formula we can find the energy hydrogen-like species. Here definitely n will be 1 in case of a hydrogen-like species. Now principal quantum number also describes the size of an orbital. That means we are talking about the cloud size. It tells us about the most probable distance of an electron from the nucleus. Now what is an electron cloud? Electron cloud is a cloud showing the probability of finding the electron in terms of 
charged cloud around the nucleus. Here you can see this charged cloud around the nucleus and this describes the most probable distance of an electron from the nucleus of an atom. So the most probable distance of an electron from the nucleus is the distance where the probability density function reaches a maximum value. That means you have the highest probability of finding an electron. Now cloud size is directly proportional to principal quantum number n. That means that as the value of n increases the orbital becomes larger and the electron spends more time far away from the nucleus. In that scenario the energy of an electron increases and therefore it is less tightly bounded to the nucleus thus the stability of an orbital decreases. So stability of an orbital is inversely proportional to principal quantum number. Uh, let's see how. How can we explain this further? Here, first of all, we will take into consideration the size of an orbital, that is cloud size. As I've told you earlier, cloud size is directly proportional to the principal quantum number and stability is inversely proportional to principal quantum number. Here, you can see in this picture that we have 1s cloud, we have 2s cloud and the 3s clouds. That means from here to here the energy is increasing, the principal quantum number is increasing. So as I've told you that electron cloud is a charge cloud around the nucleus showing the probability of finding an electron here. The cloud size is increasing with the increase in their principal quantum number. So as n increases, the average distance of an electron from the nucleus in an orbital increases the binding forces decreases that means the electron is less tightly bounded with the nucleus and thus the stability of an orbital decreases. So the cloud size is directly proportional to the principal quantum number. More the quantum number, more is the cloud size, whereas the stability is inversely proportional to the principal quantum number. More the principal quantum number, less will be the stability of an orbital. Next, principal quantum number also describes the electron density. Here you can see we have lower value of n. That means the energy level which is closer to the nucleus here and you you have a higher value of n that means the energy level which is far away from the nucleus. So when n is small the electron density is maximum close to the nucleus. Here the probability of finding an electron will be maximum because the electron density is maximum. On moving away the electron uh, density becomes drastically less. So when n is large the electron density is less near the nucleus but the electron density spread out to an extent. So here you can say now as n increases so the cloud spreads but the electron density becomes less. And the principal quantum number also describes the nodes. So now first of all what are nodes? Node is a region of space around the nucleus where the probability of finding an electron is almost zero. It is a region of zero probability. As you can see in this figure, this white area, these are the nodes. Here you have two nodes, here you have three nodes, you can see, and this one nodes here. So these are the regions where you have a probability of finding the electron is totally zero. Now the total nodes is equals to n minus one. So that means like when the principal quantum number is one then the total nodes are zero. When the principal quantum number is two that means it has two energy levels then it will be two minus one that is one node. You can see here and in this case with three principal quantum number the total nodes will be two. You can see here one node here and one node here. So these are the parameters which are described by the principal quantum number. Now what are the values of the principal quantum number? Principal quantum number is always a positive integer. It is never negative. The value of the n ranges from 1 to infinity and the maximum number of electrons which a shell or energy level can accommodate is given by 2n square. This rule of accommodation of electrons in a shell is known as bohr bury scheme and if we go as per this scheme the first shell can accommodate maximum of two electrons, the second shell can accommodate maximum of eight electrons, the third shell will accommodate maximum of 18 electrons and so on. 
So that was all about the principle of quantum number. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website, uh, transelearning.com, or YouTube channel, Trans eLearning, or Facebook, or Instagram. Thank you.